This works. Ba, 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 mm. ba, ba. Hey, everybody! <laughs> what? What's your thing? Uh oh. Uh, uh. Uh -oh. oh my god, this looks so perfect. This actually fucking worked. Please take a picture of our setup. Hello everyone and welcome to What the Fluff in Tam's car. Uh, <laughs> Where the fluff are we? Oh, we are at Rhodes Mem currently. new thing where we go to pretty places to film because Rhonda Bosch Your yeah, mind <laughs> My window is open. Could you not cause fights with the locals please? I, I just did my nails. You need to learn. <laughs> so yeah there's always construction by Tam's place, there's always construction by my place. We decided we're just we're not gonna fight it anymore. Yeah. We're not gonna wait for it anymore so we're doing car casts. Which is pretty fun. And we can drive to cool places. Yeah. Like the parking lot of Kirsten Bosch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could... Oh, no, I'm not going to... I was going to be like, we could, like, r look stuff up about the place and give you guys a bit of a history, but... No, thank you. I'm not going to. We'll just tell you where we are, and then you can Google that. Yeah, you guys can look it up. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. Homework. Audience Pick participation. Your Pick your adventure. I don't know. As I said before we switched the camera on. Mm -hmm. I did have stuff that I wanted to talk about, but yeah. because I forgot how to get up here, <laughs> we were a little bit unprepared for today. I completely yeah. forgot that what it was okay. that I wanted to talk about. We'll obviously be more prepared like how we are with all our other shows, our previous shows. Most of them you guys didn't get to see. Yeah. Sorry about that. But thank you for our subscribers and welcome to our new subscribers to our new show. It's pretty exciting. So that's what we plan to do. We're going to go to different places and then we're obviously going to talk about stories that make us good WTF. It'll be stories from the news, but not too political because there's already enough of that, in my opinion. But also things from the internet. Oh, so for example, this guy has started a Kickstarter and he posted about it on Board Panda, which is obviously like one of my go-to stories. Yeah. And he's created uh, fanny packs. It's name makes sense, sort of no matter where you are. Yeah, fanny Except pack. Except one's a bit more rude <laughs> than the other. Because it sits over your fanny. Yeah. Um, but I think it's in actually America, supposed to sit like yeah. on the back, like on your butt, it's which is what they call your a fanny. Butt in America. But this guy has made fanny packs to look like uh, dad buds. So it literally looks like beer bobs. We'll obviously we'll post a picture right here because we have all this beautiful space. Oh, we got space! We got space! Basically, he's like he's included a belly button. There's like six different types, and you just like if the t-shirt's tucked up, it just looks like you have a dad bod. You have a little bit of a bop, and it's a bag for you to keep all your valuables in. That reminds me of those bras that are like wine coolers. Yeah. You can like put alcohol in them and then you have like a straw that comes out and you're just like When you go to those festivals where they're like, you're not allowed to bring your own alcohol and you're like, well, well, loophole bitches. Mm -hmm. So that was one of my WTF stories that I was going to bring up today. Well, one of the things I want to talk about. It. Because I've seen it. Uh, she has not seen it. Yeah. So she won't get it. Tablet's T was explaining the story to me just so that I'd understand what people are Briefly. talking about. Because <laughs> I'm not going to go watch that movie. Like, I'm good. So I've seen it and I really, really enjoyed it. Mm hmm. It's a little bit controversial, but I actually prefer the new Pennywise <gasps> over the old Pennywise. That is the What the Fluff highlight for today. How dare you? I think it's because I like the. <laughs> Get out the car. Oh, get out. I'm fine. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no <laughs> partner of mine. <laughs> I don't care, guys. <laughs> like, 
I think it's more I like the character design of the new Pennywise over the um, old one. Because the old one is like a classic clown. clown. Yeah. Whereas this one is it's he looks it's almost more vintage. Like hmm. his clothes and stuff are more vintage. He's got like a lot of ruffles and Cute. his suit looks really cool. But he's also a lot more demonic. Then the first one, I mean, nothing can match Tim Curry's performance yeah. as Pennywise. Nothing can match it, but I just, I don't know. The new Pennywise is kind of more my, my jam <laughs> than the old one. <laughs> I mean, he looks fantastic. Like, I've seen the promo pictures, and obviously everyone's been posting about it on social media. But again, you know, there was this, there was this comparison before this movie came out mm. and like how dare you replace but you obviously can't have the same actor play that character uh, hasn't he just had a stroke like Tim yeah. Curry he had a stroke he's a in a wheelchair he's in a wheelchair there's no way obviously you can get the same guy yeah but do it and I don't I don't know as an actor would you want to revisit the same the character. Same That's character. actually a very good question. We'll leave it to the audience, to any actors out there who are watching. As an actor, would you revisit the same role if it was being done in a different way? Can we just talk about Trump? All right. I know. I know. We said that we weren't gonna, but I need him and Rocket Man to just calm down now because I can't have like career just disappear off the map. Yeah, that's, either before that's... I get there or while I'm there. Or even just now, because we have people in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> that we would very much like to see again. So many friends there. Like, could y'all just... <laughs> could you cool it? Could you just... Put your dicks <laughs> back in your pants. Put away the measuring tape. And let's all just have some cafe. Because <laughs> I'm really worried right? that one morning I'm just going to wake up and they're going to be like, Yeah, so Seoul isn't a thing anymore. Uh, South Korea, you remember that? <laughs> nah. <laughs> uh, uh. What would you say is the biggest thing that you learned during the previous season? I would just say that it sort of forced me to cut, not force me, but I learned the importance of being professional, even though it's something that it's kind of a hobby right now, but mm. if you want to get it up to another level, you really have to keep pushing. Yeah, you have to start putting those things in place. Professionalism. So yeah. Like, as much as you want to keep it cool and casual and whatever, you got to learn your techniques of mm. talking to camera, how your voice sounds, lighting, being prepared, which is ironic for today. <laughs> but <laughs> bear with it. I'd, I'd say this is one of our better setups, actually. <laughs> Yeah. But it's been fun sort of just learning the, the ins and outs of actually doing a podcast. Mm. And you kind of have a lot more respect for the really, really big ones mm. that do this all the time. Every day. Like, Every we, day. we do this once a week. Mm. Well, I mean, like, I learned how to edit three cameras, which was... That's that was that was, <laughs> that was a new thing for me. But also trying to copy someone else's editing style. That's, that's very difficult. So that was a big, like, literal learning curve for me. But I think also just starting the show, it was just learning all the little, all the little things when it comes to doing YouTube stuff. It's always like, you take this simple idea, something that you think is like the simple, easy idea that you mm. can do, and you just put it up there and you have to learn so much so quickly. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as just sitting down recording a video like you have to do it a couple of times mm -hmm. you have to be aware of how you come across on camera you really have to work on that and as making your content i mean we've had to learn i think our first podcast was something like 45 minutes long yep we've had to learn to make it we really have had to learn learning for time oh 55 seconds <laughs> <laughs> um yeah we've had we, to learn to slim yeah. it down and just not back and forth for an hour about a yeah. story that we both find really funny and that, that's exactly the thing it's like mm. what we find funny and how we interact is hilarious to us but that doesn't make always make for good content mm. good watching mm. so 
We've had to learn a lot of that. Like, what's the one habit that we always have? We always used to repeat each other. <laughs> All the time. I mean, we still do sometimes, but we're more aware of it. So we don't yeah. do it six times. We might do it three times. It's just, posting our old stuff just isn't relevant anymore yeah like all the stories so and stuff it's just not, not relevant. relevant i've learned a lot about scheduling and recording things and just like you know you kind of have to take it upon yourself but also at the same time you just don't want to nag people anymore mm. like the things you thought you would need at the beginning you actually don't and you mm. find ways once you've learned your introductory oh honey so we've simplified yeah one camera we're relying on on mic sound. <laughs> this should be great. Hey. Simplified, and we're trying new stuff. And but the core of the show is still the same. We're still going to talk about things that make us go WTF. And it might not make you go WTF, but that's the fun part of the show. Yeah, is that you get to tell us stuff that's made you go WTF. Yeah, I think the the most fun with this show is. You came in with an idea, and then we had a preconceived idea of what we would do with it. Mm. And it's actually kind of fun to throw out your initial vision and be like, actually, let's just try something completely different. Yeah. Yeah, that's just... what's been really fun about this podcast and just like YouTube in general. Yeah. You know, you come up with an idea of what you think you're going to do, what you think you like doing, <laughs> and then you're just like, well, you know, fuck it, let's do something else. <laughs> Because also sometimes the ideas that you have now aren't going to work right now, but just keep mm -hmm. them there and they'll work. They could work in the future, which yeah. is exciting because we, we had a ton of ideas in the beginning. And I think it was just a case of we weren't really focusing on the content and just mm -hmm. getting the content out there, which is now our focus. Yeah. Getting the basics nailed down is mm -hmm. really important. Getting a schedule, yeah. recording schedule, editing schedule, mm -hmm. getting your content lined up, what mm -hmm. you're actually going to talk about. Yep. And then you can build it from there. Yeah. So it's going to be fun, yeah. guys. Thank you for watching. So we're going to have a, a mini series in this series of, you know, car casting car around casting. the South Peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> so if you enjoy what we talk about, if you want to see what we come up for season two, do not forget to like and subscribe. Click all the buttons down below. All our information, both our social media, both our channels, outside of What The Fluff will also be linked below, so check those out. So yes guys, you've been watching oh. What The Fluff with me, Lady Fluffy Panda, and Tam. Tam, Yay. let's see you. Formerly Ninja Dragon 5000. We'll be back next week with another video in a car in a new location. Bum, bum, bum. But yeah, let's go have a waddle. Around roads, man. Hey Tom, where are we? We're at Rhodes Memorial. Ooh, look at that view. Look at that view. Hey. So this, kids, is Rhodes Memorial. Do you think Em still loves these trees? Absolutely, that's a love that was never gonna die. <laughs> Men in tiny shorts, remember? <laughs> There's a man right there, and we're talking to him. Oh, in a car on a mountain. <laughs> we know how to have fun. <laughs>